Hey everyone, welcome to part two. Let's go ahead and get started. I'd like you to go ahead and switch out from the lines layer back to the zero layer. And once you've done that, deactivate the lines just so they're out of the way. And also go to your XYZ coordinate, hover to the center box, and then click world. That's going to put that back in the corner. Once you've done that, turn your image layer back on. And we're going to just draw out a few of the objects that might have been difficult to draw out otherwise. The main ones being this area over here. There's going to be an opening. So use the circle tool, C-I-R, enter, and just roughly draw out a circle, enter to reactivate it, and then draw out a secondary circle. So inside, outside circles. Okay, where the wheels are, we're going to go ahead to where we believe the center is and press enter to reactivate your circle tool and then draw out a circle. Okay, so I drew out one, I'm going to press escape twice, and I'm just going to copy that circle just for consistency. So I'm going to select it, enter, and I'm going to move it from here over to here. Now it's a little hard to see because of the, the color of the lines, but I did move it over. And if I turned off my image, you could see that's what I've done so far. Okay. Turn that back on real quick. And the last thing we'll probably need is this thing over here. We're going to attempt to draw out that profile. So we're going to need to change the color of this layer. So I'm going to go from white over to green. And then I'm going to use the, let's try this with the spline tool, SPL for spline, enter. And then I just want you to kind of click and kind of draw out this profile. So I'm just clicking multiple times with the spline tool to try and capture the shape of this object here. And connect it. Okay, I'm going to press enter one last time to save that. And now we've drawn out that profile. We can do the same over here. Okay, so enter to reactivate my spline tool and draw out this profile as well. Enter. Okay. So we got three new things. And if I deactivate the image layer, you could see the additional parts I've drawn. Now, because I might need these later, I'm going to make a copy of them. Enter. And I'm just going to move this copy over here to the side. Cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the lines layer back on so you can kind of see everything in place. And then I'm going to draw out some profiles to sweep. We're going to use three different sizes. So use your circle tool, circle, C-I-R, enter. I'm going to draw one, at least for myself. And you're going to have to eyeball this if your dimensions are off from mine. But 0 0.08 for the smallest one. Then I'm going to draw an additional one that will be 0.1. And then one final one that will be 0.12. Okay, so I got my three profiles. And now I'm going to create some copies of each of them. Because once you use up a profile, it's gone and you have to essentially make another profile. So I'm just going to use the copy tool for that and create a couple copies. Okay copy tool for this one as well and I feel like I'm going to use a lot more of these than the other ones so I'm just going to create a couple extra copies and then the last one these are the largest ones okay cool so let's start sweeping starting over here I'm going to use the 
point zero eight one. So you go to sweep, enter, you select the profile, enter, and then you click the line and it'll sweep it across the line. Okay. And then I press enter to reactivate sweep, click on that, enter, line, and then enter. Okay, it's gonna move into a point one two. So that enter that enter and then that is going to go into a point one there just like that okay this one here is going to be a point one this one here is going to be a point one two this one here is also going to be a point one So up there is a 0 0.08. Perfect. So hopefully you're starting to see that's a 1 or 0 0.1. Moving into the 0 0.08. OK, looks like I'm going to need a couple more 0 0.08s. So I'm going to copy a few more. Okay, sweep. Okay, and there we go. We created the majority of the profile. Now it did kind of change colors, but we'll adjust it in a second. We also need to move this object here. So we're gonna start with an extrude command, or that one, and this one over here. Press enter, and we're gonna extrude both of them 0.08 which is the diameter I used for this part. But if yours is different, adjust yours accordingly. Let's also take a look at the shaded view. Make sure those turned out fine, which they did. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back over to 2D wireframe. Then I'm gonna click on the front view over here. So I'm looking straight at it. I'm gonna activate my ortho mode again. And I'm gonna use the move command, enter, to select these two objects, enter, and just move them up such that they match up with their appropriate counterpart to the best that I can. So they're kind of aligned right now. Now let's mirror the half of the bike that needs to be on the other side. To do that, click on the little dash over here, go to your viewport configuration list, then to two vertical. It's gonna create two separate views for us. And on this view here, we're gonna change it from like a custom view over to let's say the front so that we can see like a cross section of everything. And I'm also going to go ahead and draw a line just temporarily starting at, let's say, sure, this center point, just across to like here. And I'm going to press escape twice. And that line is literally just serving the purpose of acting as a mirror line. OK, on this view over here, I would like you to use the mirror command, enter. But then I would like you to click here to activate this one and let's say select like two of these objects over here. So I select two parts of the frame. Then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to use that line as a reference to click. And when it says erase source objects, I'm going to click no and it's generated it on the other side. Now I like to do this with just several objects at a time because it seems to work better. But I'll click on let's say the next two parts of the frame here. Go back here, enter and then use the line, click not don't erase the source object and it should generate that as well okay we got these two here as well so activate my mirror tool there click on these two and then back here enter and then generate those two as well don't er erase the source object so we've generated everything now i'm going to press escape twice and switch back over to a single view so click the plus viewport configuration list single view i can delete this line right now 
And for these last two parts, I'm going to use the copy tool. Copy, enter, select this part, enter, and I'm going to use the center point of that and move it over to the center point of that. So I created a copy there. Escape twice, copy, enter, select that portion, enter, and use the center of that and move it down to the center of that. There we go. So we've just created a copy of each portion of our bike. And that's going to conclude part two, and I'll see you in part three where we're going to get even further along in this process. Peace.